Hey my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add animated text rainbow effects in Elementor. Just like this over here. Another one like this. Alright, without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Alright, so inside our Elementor editor, we have our sections or our pre-made sections just like this over here. And you have control over the text, so you can simply select the heading widget, come to style, and make changes to your text size or whatever you want. But now we want to give this text a rainbow animation. But when we look into our style options, we don't have that. Not even under the color settings, we cannot even add a gradient over here to the text. So the question is, how do we add animated rainbow text effects to this kind of text or heading widget in Elementor? And now that's where the use of the custom CSS comes in in Elementor. To use the custom CSS feature in Elementor, you need to have Elementor Pro. But more on to that later. So we will select our heading widget. And we're going to give this heading widget a rainbow animation. We'll come over here to the advanced option. And inside the CSS option, this is where we'll add our custom code that is going to run the animation. In this case, I've already gotten an interesting CSS code right over here on code pane written by Sarah Fosheim, and I'll copy this CSS code, and I'll come back here to my Elementor website, and I'll paste that CSS code over here. I'm going to kindly expand this a little bit, so you have a clear view of what we are trying to do. When you look into the CSS, you realize that we have a class over here that was used, and this class is what we need to link this CSS code to our element. So we are going to come up right here under the advanced option, we are going to paste our CSS class. Once you paste it, make sure that you remove the dot. Now we have our gradient animation showing up. But when you look in over here on our preview, you realize that we have our animation, but on hover we have white color showing up. So how do you achieve this? To do that, we are going to simply come back over here in our custom CSS feature. And inside here, we're going to do some customization. And we can start off by customizing these colors over here to suit the colors that we want to appear in our rainbow colors or in our rainbow animation. In this case, we don't need this background and the background color as well. So I'm going to delete that. Here, the CSS is using a conic gradient. We don't want that. We want to use a linear gradient. You see how that now looks like. But in this case, we want to use a CSS property for the background image. So we're going to add background-image property which is this, and then we're going to add our own custom CSS. So I've done a little bit of edits on our CSS, and let me just take you through on what I've done. So for example, over here we have the class, just make sure that you copy this class over here, and come over here in the advanced option and add that class, and make sure there is no dot at the start. Then under our CSS back over here, we used a background image as our linear gradient, you can actually generate these gradients using the CSS gradient tool. So you just simply come over here to backgrounds. And over right here, you can copy a CSS of your choice. You can even customize these gradients to suit what you need. Now, once you are done, just simply copy that CSS and come back inside your editor and paste that CSS over right here. And I customize the color on hover once I hover over the text. So for example, here, instead of it being white, I can change that to let me say a C. Now you see that changes to another color. All right, so I'll leave it to white. And you can as well make changes to all these units over here. And maybe the most interesting for you would be that the animation on hover is taking 0 0.5 seconds. So that is ease in forward. So now when I change this to, let me say one, 0.1 second you see it's running really fast you can as well make that to 0.9 seconds then it will be really slow as it's moving something like that i'll leave it to something like a three beautiful and maybe the other thing you want to know about are the keyframes which actually helps you to make up the animation and the good thing is that the author of this rainbow animation added a lot of comments to help you understand what is working where Okay, this is now done. Let's have a preview of how it looks like. That's before the hover. Once I hover over the text, 
turns into our white on default it's having the rainbow and when i hover the rainbow animation shows up for the next heading widget we are going to still select it and under our advanced options we are going to come to css and this is where we're going to add our css come over here to our css option copy our rainbow class over here come to advanced paste into our css class and make sure that we delete the dot before that class when you look into our preview over here you realize that we actually made changes to our rainbow animation here so we are going to do the same thing i've added my own background gradient which is a linear gradient and also we are going to delete these properties that we don't need in this case and as you see over here in our gradient we can make some changes as well to uh, the rotation or the angle of the gradient so for example if you change this to let me say 225 you realize that now our gradient is changing but i want to leave it on the default just to look like this you can make some changes to all these other colors that are within the gradient we have this first color then we have the next color and we have the other color including the location of how those colors are running in the gradient so in this case if i change the location of this color from 94 to 14 you see that now that changes how it looks like so I'll move it back to 94 and below here still the author explains how everything is working like including the animations before and after all right now let's look into our preview now we have our animated rainbow text effects on our widgets beautiful so in case you want to create something like this I'll be leaving a link to the blog post with the CSS codes in the description of this video and if you want to get Elementor Pro, please consider using my affiliate link right down in the description of this video. And that way you help support this channel and I'm able to make more tutorials just like this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a good time. See you in the next one.